Hey guys, welcome in a new episode of Stephen's Week. I'm very happy that you're joining in and let's see what happened this week. More and more doctors are starting to use Fitbit data and Apple Watch data to define the treatment profiles for patients. There was this doctor last week that used Fitbit heartbeat data to define what kind of treatment the patient needed. And uh, these uh, devices like Fitbit track our data of our heart all the time. So imagine the richness of data that doctors can have now and imagine the impact this will have on the future of healthcare. Forget the Push for Pizza app. Now Domino's Pizza developed this week an app where you just need to open the app and then they deliver pizza at your doorstep. No more pushing inside the app. Extreme simplicity. A 19 year old student at MIT programmed the first robotic lawyer. It's called Do Not Pay. It started out as a tool that helps people to appeal against parking tickets, but now you can ask the robot any legal question you want and you will get an, get an answer for free. Big news at the Facebook conference this week. Um, as from this week, um, developers can start to program bots in Facebook Messenger. And we're gonna see many, many bots from brands in the near future. Bots probably gonna be the new websites of the future, uh, which is big news. And next to that, there was also a vision on the long-term future of Facebook and you can, con you can summarize it in three words. It's artificial intelligence, connectivity, and VR slash AR. Those are the three domains that Facebook want to rule the world with. So they want to connect everyone in the world. They want to create the best virtual reality platform in the world. They even think that a virtual reality glasses, those will look like a Ray-Ban in the future. And artificial intelligence has to help us to solve any problem in the world. So Facebook gonna, gonna rule the world even more than they are doing today. Artificial intelligence is getting better and better week after week. Like this week in China, Alibaba's artificial intelligence unit was able to predict the winners of the contest of I'm a Singer, something like The Voice, but then the Chinese version. Pretty impressive. One of the internet pioneers is for sale. Yahoo, one of the leading companies of the earliest years of the internet, is now for sale. Marissa Meyer, the CEO, hoped to you know, get the thing back on the track, but the shareholders are not patient anymore and they wanna sell the company. In the next few weeks and months, bits can be placed on the major parts of Yahoo. Oculus Rift launched a VR selfie stick this week, the must-have gadget of the year. A new patent from Apple shows that they could completely redesign the MacBook. And the new plans actually show that there won't be a keyboard anymore, but a very large trackpad that allows you to do everything you need I'm looking forward to see that design in the near future. So this was our week, quite a busy week in terms of news, and I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you're gonna have a great weekend, and I hope you're gonna share the video with your friends and colleagues. Enjoy the weekend, my friends, bye-bye.